complete and utter destruction, complete annihilation of the people, of those who didn't manage to escape, that is. That is what this Russian world is, what Russian peace is like, what they call Ruski Mir, what they preach and speak about in reverence, what they claim that is their view for the world that needs to be respected, that needs to be accepted. Well, my friends, we will not respect and we will not accept a country that sees genocide as the only solution for the disagreement of another people. We will not accept and we will not respect a country that decides the fate of others whilst having zero accountability for their crimes, whilst having zero power over those other people. Russia does not control Ukraine. Ukraine was a sovereign country ever since the time that it has separated from the Soviet Union. And every single region of Ukraine has voted to become part of Ukraine. In fact, we can take this even further. Every single region of Ukraine besides Crimea has voted more than 80% to join Ukraine and not Russia. And this, this is what Putin will never mention. These are the people that Putin claims are his supporters. The people who have voted to stay away from Russia. The people who have voted to be part of Ukraine. Did that vote matter to Putin? No, it did not. Putin never cared for any kinds of votes. That, my friends, is why we find very interesting statistics in this supposed scam referendum in Crimea in 2014 when 110, 113, 115% of some cities would vote to join Russia. Now how does that work, my friends? How can 110% of one city vote to join another country? How is it possible? The same way, my friends, that Viktor Yanukovych, called by the Ukrainians as Bandyukovych, has become president of Ukraine, or has become is a very strong expression. Many pro-Russians, Russophiles and apologists come with the argument that the evil Ukrainians that were controlled by the CIA somehow, I don't know how they managed to come up with that conspiracy theory, that they have deposed a democratically elected leader, Viktor Yanukovych. The Ukrainians voted for him, right? Well, these Russophiles do not know that Yanukovych actually won the first election against Viktor Yushchenko. But he was tried for voter fraud and he was found guilty. That's right. The first election he won, he won via voter fraud. And this criminal, this crook who had been in jail twice, even before he ran for president, he ran for president a second time. And on the second election, he was not tried for corruption because the Moscovites have flooded Ukraine with bribes and with threats. And of course, we all remember how Viktor Yushchenko ended up being. He had good ideas in the beginning, but then he was poisoned by the Russian terrorist regime and he became almost like a frog. It's actually terrifying to look at his face. He looks terrible. That is what Russia does to anyone who speaks out against them. That is what Russia will do to you if they feel like they can get away with it. If they feel like there will be no punishment for their crimes. We must make sure that they do not make that mistake again. We must make sure that the Russian terrorist regime knows that their crimes will not be unpunished. And the only way to do so is to tell the world the truth of what really happened in Ukraine.